Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing a super easy hydrating mask that you can make and it's going to fit in really nicely with the capillary schedule. So first you're going to take about 150 milliliters of water and a tablespoon of cornstarch and you're going to heat that up on low to medium heat only for about like two to five minutes. It really doesn't take long. Um, this is just going to act as a really nice creamy base for the mask. Um, you can really add any ingredients you want to this base. But today we're going to be working with some banana. Just be very careful not to heat this up too quickly because it will ruin the consistency. So as you can see, it's starting to thicken up a little bit here. And just continue stirring until it's a nice creamy conditioner-like consistency. Then I just cut up one ripe banana and I'm blending it with just a tiny bit of water to help make it a little bit more of a liquid consistency. Banana is super hydrating for the hair and scalp. It really helps to protect your hair's natural elasticity, prevent breakage and split ends, and I love using it in hydrating masks. According to the capillary schedule, fruits such as bananas are very, very hydrating to the hair. Just make sure that before you add the banana mixture to the base, that you run it through a strainer first because it's really hard to wash out little bits of banana. So I like to just put it through a strainer to make sure that it's as smooth as possible. This next step is totally optional, but I'm gonna be adding in some of this Dex5 D-Pentanol. D-Pentanol is basically just a liquid um, pro-vitamin B5, which is very, very hydrating for the hair. Um, my cousin Mariana actually got this for me when I was in Portugal. I've had a really hard time finding this in Canada though So try your local pharmacy. You might be able to find it on Amazon if I can find it I'll have it linked down below for you, but if you don't have access to this then don't worry about it You can still do the mask You're going to apply this mask on damp freshly washed hair so in the shower I only use shampoo and then I got out, let it towel dry for a little bit, and I really gently combed through it just to make sure that it was smooth and easy to apply. And you're going to apply it um, section by section. So I separated my hair into a bunch of small sections and really went through to make sure each section was fully coated with the mask. This only took me about 10 minutes to do, and the amount of mask that I made was enough for my hair as well as my boyfriend's hair. So this mask really goes a long way and just continue to apply it section by section and really make sure each strand is coated. Feel free to apply this to your scalp as well. I like to focus mine on the length and ends of my hair because that's where mine gets the driest, but if you'd like to apply it to your scalp, you can definitely do so. I then did the exact same thing on the other side of my head and I tied my hair up in a bun and put a plastic bag over it just to keep in the heat. You can use a shower cap instead if you want. After about 45 minutes, I got back in the shower and rinsed it out with just water and then I used my conditioner as normal. So no shampoo, just make sure you rinse it out thoroughly and these are the results I had. It honestly left my hair super silky and shiny for days after and it was really easy to manage. I really enjoy following the capillary schedule. It helps to keep my hair on track with what it needs. And this is one of my favorite masks to do for the hydration process. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye.